What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Legion here back today with another Clash Royale video guys and it has been a busy last three or four days for me again. I was like, man, after I'm done with college class, I'm gonna have all this free time, but no guys, Thursday was my mom's birthday, so we spent the whole day basically just celebrating it and stuff, but also Friday, which was yesterday, uh, we got a bunch of new furniture, so we were moving things in, moving things out, and it was so tiring, and it was a lot of work, so I didn't get to record at all yesterday. And then today is my mom's birthday, so we're cleaning up the house a little bit to make it presentable to the family and stuff. And then we gotta cook, and we gotta clean, and you guys already know, alright? And then tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and then Monday is Christmas. But I'm gonna try to get this video in, guys. I'm gonna try to record this as I'm cleaning. It looks a little cleaner than usual, right? I don't know if you guys can tell. No, it looks the same. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got the Royal Ghost because I know a lot of people are really hyped about this card. He's, he's something else, guys. He's ridiculously strong in my opinion. I'm pretty hard to remember a way to counter it because the tower doesn't shoot him. He turns transparent or invisible as he's crossing the bridge sometimes. So you have to put something in his way, whether it be skeletons or an ice spirit to freeze it. Is that Does that even count? I haven't even seen that work. I haven't even seen that tried out, but I think it might. Anyways, guys, let's get right into some replays because I did already win the battle. My first try, guys, the very first battle I went on my first try, I lagged out. So I went 0-1 and, and I was like, man, this is a bad sign. It's going to be that kind of battle. I'm going to lose all these because of this bad start. And, uh, oh, man. And let me tell you guys, I hate this this uh, game mode, this challenge. I hate the fact that we have the same deck, and I hate the fact that we have the same starting hand. Sure, I mean, it kind of goes to show who has the better strategy with said hand and said deck. But at the same time, it's like, every time I do something, they copy me. And it's like, how can I counter myself? How can I beat myself? It's hard. It's a hard, it's a hard thing to do. To beat yourself is gonna do but anyways guys that besides that sounding totally disgusting let's get into some replays and let me show you guys exactly how it happened let me show you guys my only loss that really happened besides the lag which is right here versus this guy pro what is he 4200s he's been at 4600s let me show you guys what i did wrong let me explain to you what i could have done better so we'll go by two until double elixir so let's see we both have the same starting hand he starts off with his furnace, I'm pretty sure, in the back. So I put mine. I was kind of hoping mine would kill. One fire spirit would jump and kill him, and then the other would survive. But he does the princess there to take it out. So I do the prince on the opposite side. All right, quick timeout over. He's coming in with the, the, the royal ghost and the prince. Luckily, I had to leave barbarians, and then I do the royal ghost behind it. But watch this. Look at Fire spirits don't even touch him. I thought that was freaking ridiculous. And look at that work he's doing, guys. He does splash damage plus... Really strong damage, actually. So I did the knight to counter his knight. Pretty obvious. He's chipping away my right side, but his fire spirit thing is gone. I put prince here so that the fire spirits jump onto the elite barbarians to help out the prince. Now, will he charge? Will he make it? The princess takes him out before he even gets a chance. And look at that. Look at that. I had nothing really at the time, and I was like, oh man, I forgot. The tower's not going to be chipping away because he's invisible. So he's got that coming in. He's got a knight coming in. I'm thinking, okay, I need these elite barbarians mirrored right there. That was the best chance I had. And. It worked out all right, but it was kind of a desperate thing. But you got to do what you got to do, guys, to stop the push. So here we go. Bring him in again to the Fire Spirits. And here here was the mistake. Let's go by one because I can't keep up. I totally forgot the balloon. What you want to do is you really want to look at the, the starting hand as soon as you start the battle. So like when you click battle and it loads you in, you get to see the hand you have. I, I have this tendency to just skip right over that because I'm just, I, I just want to go so fast. I just go right through it and I don't see my deck. I didn't even know we had the balloon until he played it. Otherwise, I would have played it before. Yes, I looked at my starting hand, my hand plenty of times, but I just never paid attention to the fact that we had a balloon and neither of us have a really, really good counter to it. The best counter is probably the furnace as like a distraction with a princess maybe, that, but that's not even that good. So let's go by one. He plays the balloon and here it is, guys. I'm thinking, oh man, I don't have anything, but he doesn't have anything too. He mirrors the princess, which is a pretty okay move, but I still get a shot off and I'm thinking, okay, he took mine out. I must have taken his out and that's where I drop it, guys. I thought i assumed i took out his tower with that death damage and you will see me not even push the left side anymore i'm going hard down the right side thinking all right it's tied one to one uh i need this next tower i need to overwhelm him right here right now so look at me shoving everything i have down that right lane and not even knowing the left lane is still alive so three two one and i'm thinking all right we got this we got this and i see match over and I, he laughs and i say wow and then i laughed afterwards because i thought that was pretty funny but that was my own loss, guys. A big mistake. You always want to look at your card 
your deck, your cards at the beginning and really study them, really see like what you have, what might be the best push, what you might want to counter from him because you have the same deck. So same counters, same everything, but you can outsmart opponent is the best way. So now I went through and I looked at all my opponents, who was the highest opponent, uh, like furthest trophies up. A lot of these are actually pretty low, but this guy, my last battle, the one where we were both trying to get to 12 wins, probably, I know I was, um, was Far Farbios. I'm, so, I'm sorry if I totally butchered that, but he's got 4,500. He's also been at 4,600. Nope, wrong battle I clicked. Why would I even do that? So let's watch that, guys. Let me tell you guys what you guys can do here. We'll go by two again until double elixir. Actually, you know what? Let's go by one because two is too fast, man. I try to keep up. I couldn't. So I split elite barbs, which honestly is a horrible idea now that I think about it because if you split the elite barbs, he could just overwhelm one lane with elite barbs and then he's going to counter push you guys and then you guys aren't going to have enough elixir to counter his counter push. So watch this. He does something smart. They both end up going down the right lane. He's got a cannon card down the left lane and I'm thinking, oh, now he's got minions and I'm thinking, okay, we got to mirror these. We got to minion these and it works out all right. But now he's got three minions coming down, untouched, basically. And I've got 1,500 health on my right tower because, because I did a, a terrible choice. I honestly would recommend letting your opponent do the first move now. And then kind of mirroring him and letting the battle happen on your side. See, like right here, the Musketeer mine manages to survive. And you'll see in a little bit, I get two shots off. And he could have defended with a P.E.K.K.A, a Mirrored Musketeer, or a Giant Skeleton, but he places the Royal Ghost down, and he's invisible, so she ignores him and gets two shots. And now here he comes big, but I've got the Giant Skeleton, and I'm thinking, should I help him out? And I, and I kind of thought about it, and I did it late, the Giant Skeleton still died. I was hoping it would actually start marching towards this tower, but it does not. The Cannon Card gets rid of it right there, guys. And the Royal Ghost turns invisible, he starts marching, he starts marching, he places his own Giant Skeleton. So I'm already thinking, alright, he's probably going to try to support that giant skeleton with something, whether it be minions or cannon card or elite barbarians. So I'm thinking, I gotta be ready for this. I was thinking P.E.K.K.A., but you want to try to counter their cards with the cheapest possible counter. So had I played a P.E.K.K.A. there, I would have been at about a 1 elixir disadvantage. But because I played the cannon card instead, I'm at about a 1 elixir advantage. And I'm able to play that musketeer, and we're fine. We're looking good. So I'm thinking, okay... This Musketeer might get some shots off if he does the same thing as last time. He does. She gets one and almost two again, guys. He mirrored. Oh, he need a mirror. That was my mirror. Uh, no, I don't think any mirror happened. What am I talking about? Anyways, Giant Skeleton going in against the Royal Ghost. Pretty good counter, but that Royal Ghost is doing some work. So now I'm thinking, okay, he's going to focus on the right side here. I guarantee it. No, no, this wasn't it. I try to push down the right side. Cannon Cart heavy, and I'm thinking, okay, you know what? It's clear to me that we've got two tanky things. The Royal, the Royal Giant. The P.E.K.K.A and the giant skeleton and those are really great defensive cards so i'm thinking there's no way we're gonna be able to really push a lane i'm gonna have to split push or i'm gonna have to like uh kind of kind of what's the word i don't know the word i'm terrible at finding words when i'm commentating i'm gonna have to trick him basically into thinking i'm pushing hard down the right lane and then secretly push it on the left lane kind of uh rushing it so i'm thinking okay here he thinks i'm probably gonna push right with everything nope i'm going left thankfully he does place the giant skeleton on the right side so his best counter to me right now is the minions and my elite barbarians are gonna go to town guys we're already even damaged and they're still going one more shot he's down to 700 now this is where this kind of challenge gets annoying guys all right when you see that you have a high chance of losing what do you do you start defending that side so well and because you have the same cards you you, there's really no counter push and the worst part about this deck in particular is there's no spells I, If there was a fireball or a lightning or something I could have gone chipping away chipping away chipping away with a spell But there is absolutely no spells meaning I have to get something on the tower physically or that musketeer is gonna make it So I was like, oh man, this guy's just gonna hardcore defend. There's we're not gonna get anywhere I'm gonna we're gonna end up tying or something. So Let's go by two because this does take a while so he's got that going down the left lane. I'm thinking, okay, now I gotta counter this. We're going with the P.E.K.K.A. He's also pushing on the right lane. We got a giant skeleton. You see, this deck has so much good defense, but not enough offense. One minute survives. He's chipping away. I'm trying to push hard down the left lane because that's the lane I want to take out, guys. It's already so low. And I'm thinking, come on, Musketeer, take it out, take it out. She takes out the P.E.K.K.A. Can a card to defend against that because the Musketeer is not going to survive. Minions to not let any shots through from that Musketeer. He's splitting his elite barbs. And I'm thinking, okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, cover that with my elite barbs. And thankfully, no shots from that Royal Ghost. 
giant skeleton didn't make it. I was hoping it would. The minions survived, but I ignored them because the right lane. Okay, but I have to remember that musketeer got a shot off because the royal ghost wasn't in her line of sight. So now I'm thinking, okay, one minute left. What the heck am I gonna do with one minute? There's no way I'm gonna be able to get this tower, guys. That's what I was thinking, but. I needed to look for an opportunity, and I needed to stop him from getting any damage. That minion gets a whole two shots off. Here come two royal ghosts, and I'm thinking, this is it. This is it. I have to push right here, right now, and hope that he has nothing because of all the elixir he just spent. I'm putting the cannon card. He takes out the musketeer in the bed, and the royal ghosts take out that tower on the left side, guys, because they were invisible. I wish him good luck on his endeavors to get the royal ghost, because we managed to pull that one out with less than 30 seconds. With 30 seconds left. All right, guys, so out of our... Legendary chest, we got a log and we upgraded it to level three. So I was happy about that. And then out of our 12 wins, you already know we got the Royal Ghost. This is just a deck I put together that I'm thinking might work. I don't know. How would an expo and the Royal Ghost work? I don't It's kind of confusing, but I kind of want to see because it is invisible, because it appears after a while. I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's going to be a really OP card for a while. I can't wait to see the decks that come out with it, guys. But I haven't even tried this deck. I haven't even tried a single battle. You can see my battle log. The most recent was that battle I just showed you that I did last night to get the Royal Ghost. I'm sorry I couldn't do these battles live, guys. Um, like I said, I've been super busy, so I knew I would probably just have to record some replays. I hope you guys don't mind, and I hope you guys get the Royal Ghost. Just remember, three tips at least. You want to look at your deck at the start and really analyze it and really start already countering things or looking at things that might be kind of strong. So like, if you like, in the loss I had, it was the balloon. You want to see that, and you want to have something saved for that balloon to counter it. All right, whether it be tornado, a princess, the furnace, whatever it may be. So first step is analyze. Second step is start countering everything. Every little thing you see that might be a great offensive weapon, find a way to counter it with that deck. And step number three, guys, is just, if it comes down to it might be a tie, go for the tie, all right? Unless you think you can push it in there like I did that last battle. But if you think you might lose and you don't have a spell, go for the tie, guys. I mean, it's a challenge. Every loss makes a huge difference. So you don't want to lose. Just tie. Nothing happens and you escape and you get to live to fight another day. So analyze. Um, start countering in your brain and already know those counters and the perfect counters. And then go for the tie if you need it, guys. All right. So those are my three big tips. Don't forget, guys, like this video, comment what you guys think. Did you guys already get the Royal Ghost? Did you guys already make an awesome Royal Ghost deck? Let me know. I want to know so I can try it, maybe. And then don't forget to subscribe. Of course, guys, we are past 750 subscribers. That is ridiculous. Our most viewed video is now over 100,000 views. Thank you guys so much. You guys are insane. And, um, yeah, thank you guys a lot. I hope if I don't get to upload before Christmas, I want to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas. And... I will definitely get there before New Year, so I wish you guys a Happy New Year next time. But if I don't get to see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you for making um, December more than anything has been huge for me. And I hope 2018 is going to be awesome also. I can't wait to see all you guys there. And I will see you guys next time. Legion. Oh.